but you know his his record with five losses and a couple of ties they've been to some of these boys that are in the finals here tonight he's got two or three losses to guys that are in the finals so he's a winner and a steady winner in a program that is customarily producing winners you see keith van beek out in the center of the mat he's from central lion both these young men are in blue actually central lion has purple but it's going to be kind of tough to show you which one is which let me tell you right now that the Central Lion young man hit with one of the quickest single legs of the night. Yes, he, and he got him right when he came to the mat, right to a half. He just didn't quite run the head hard enough or he would have had him on his back. There's 2A. It's going to be Tom Brands against Jason Kelber. We'll keep an edge eye on that. Kelber's undefeated from West Marshall. His team is trying to get up to the second place if they can. And at Triple A, it's going to be Dave Jordan of Cedar Falls against undefeated Jan Kaler of Waverly Shellrock. Waverly would like to move up into the, into the uh, top three. We're at 2A at 1A here, and at Central Lions, Keith Van Beek leading 2 to nothing and riding. I think what you'll see is Van Beek from Central Lion, who had, probably has the most skill as far as polished moves and techniques. Will Toma from Don Bosco tends not to do a lot of things as far as customary moves, but he wins a lot. He gets taken down a lot, as you've seen right now, and he'll be losing a match, and all of a sudden he'll do one of his little short sit-outs, reach back over and hook an arm or catch a head and slide out the back door, and then you end up on your back. That's how he wins lots of matches. be interesting to see if he can do it with somebody like Van Beek, who's got pretty good talent. Now, here he is in a cradle. He's caught in a cradle now, and he's in trouble with it. Yes, Van Beek has, has him in a back situation here. He has at least two points in the near fall. You notice that there are two officials out there. There's a referee. And that Matt judge is Matt usually, judge. yeah, he just kind of goes around the outside to make sure that there's nothing illegal taking place or that he doesn't miss something. That's a three-point near fall for Keith Van Beek. He leads five to nothing, and he's putting the mustard to him again here. With that. Well, he really has controlled and dominated so far. And it's been pretty obvious. I've seen Locke in another cradle, going right back toward his head again. Potentially dangerous situation there. Doesn't look like Van Beek cares very much about whether Toma's a freshman or not, does it? No, he doesn't. He's not. Uh, he, this is a state championship. And Keith Van Beek's only a sophomore. Yes, and he's he's got a couple of losses to people who have been in the finals in this term of two. Three, you're right. Two A champion. He's got a couple of losses to him. He's really a very good competitor. Keith Van Beek. Second, second period, Van Beek gets to start up. Each period is two minutes long, you know, in high school. And Van Beek takes an area, he puts that head lever in there right now, drives hard, leading five nothing. Well, he's controlled the mat wrestling, and this is where Steve Toma from Don Bosco tends to be fairly comfortable and fairly good. Oh, he's got the half. He's got him right toward his back because he's running toward the head. He's not hanging back toward the legs. He's out where he has to be, up toward his wrestler's head. Oh, it's a, it's a tough situation for Toma here. On the back, the referee's counting. He had a two-point near fall there, but the situation has not been cleared. Now it has. Two point near fall, three point near fall. Well, there's one of those situations right there where you see Toma just turn his back. He got the point. You saw he just tried to turn and hit that wizard, see if he couldn't throw. Just got taken down again by a nice duck under by Keith Van Beek, who's really wrestling very aggressively. Yes, he's he's up now 10 to 1. In the double A match, by the way, Jason Kelber's undefeated, and he's beating Tom Brands five to nothing in the second period, about half of the second period. Triple A, it's Dave Jordan of Cedar Falls. This may be something of an upset. I'm not sure he's beating Jan Kaler of Waverly Shellrock. Nine to two in the second period. Well, that's one of those ones that's gone both ways a couple of times. Usually uh, the young man from Waverly Shellrock wins those matches. Yeah, he's 25 and zip this year. There's Dan Mashick. He has a real fine coaching career. You know, you look at the state championships that teams have won, and he's always there. And a takedown for Van Beek. Again, we've seen we've seen two talented freshmen so far in these first two matches who are just a little bit young. Yes, and they've really been dominated by their opponents. It isn't like they're in the match. 
what we've seen so far, both of them have been talented enough to get here, which certainly doesn't decry their ability and their, their tournament performance. But Dale had just been really overwhelmed and overpowered by their opponents. Uh, you can see Tola trying to work a whiz or anything, but he's 12 to 2. At that point, you see them signaling it's uh, a point for locking hands against uh, Van Beek. That makes it 12 to 3. I saw them. That was the outside judge that caught that because the official was back on the other side, so he caught the one point. Steady. We're at single A, Iowa State High School Wrestling Championship. Those are the Rock Rapids Central Lion coaches. Their man is dominating. He's up 12 to 3. And just got switched for two more. Yes, it's now 14 to 3. And beat. Well, he really has dominated it. And here's, this is where right now, the only thing Steve Toma can do would be to try to get him in a position where he could let him throw and then use his hips to beat him. But he's now down he got on taken, his back again. Got taken down to his back and has at least a two-point near fall with a minute and a half to go in the period and in the match. 1A on Iowa Public Television. Two back points. It's 16 to 4. And Beek is rolling it up. 18 to 4. He's going to have to move up a little bit now get off those legs. And I would think that's what he wanted to do. He's been in such control. You think he could almost do what he wants to. Here he is out around the head again. It's 5 to 1. Kelber at double A. You're keeping track of that. There's another two-point air call. That makes it 20 to 4. And then Jordan is, is winning over Kaler from Waverly Shell Rock, 11 to 3 in Triple A. Now it's uh, 20 to 6 after that reversal. And the Don Bosco freshman, Steve Toma. You're going to see him just try to wade in, see if he can't get the, his opponent to give him some pressure. He's a little frustrated. But the only thing he can do now is try to throw. He has to go and double, and he's got to try to throw in for the five. He has 30 seconds to do it. 21 to 6 is the score. Well, I would think Van Beek would just stay low, try not to give him any kind of pressure that would get him caught where he could get thrown to his back. But well, we only have 10 seconds to go. And we'll check in on those other matches, too. Here's a takedown for Toma. He's 21 to 8, but he's still far behind. And he tried to pin, but he was working hard right at the end of the match. The score, 21 to 8. The winner and state champion is Keith Van Beek of Central Lion in Rock Rapids. Being met by everybody in town. Boy, he just clearly dominated that match. Well, the uh, match is also, I believe, over at 3A. As you take a look at Dick Trotter, what happened there? Okay, in 3A competition, Dean, Dave Jordan of Cedar Falls made it look easy as he rolled to an 11-3 lead at the end of the second period over Jan Kaler of Waverly Shell Rock and had Kaler on his back at the end of the match. There you see the young lad from Cedar Falls. He's the new state champ at 105. Dave Jordan, Cedar Falls High School. Back to you, Doc. Thank you, Dick. 112 pounds coming up. We're back. Fifth place, Matt McClanahan, Sigourney. Fourth place, Vance Light, Lisbon. Third place, Tracy Ping, Haywarden, West Sioux. Second place, Steve Thoma, Gilbertville, Don Bosco. And the 1A 105-pound champion from Rock Rapids Central Lion, Pete Van Beek. He was dominant tonight in winning his championship. He has every reason to smile. Go back to Rock Rapids, number one in the state at 105 pounds by the title. We have the 3A winners coming up. We're going to take a look at, when we get to wrestling again here, we'll take a look at a chance, a wrestler going for his fourth state championship. Presenting Mark the class 3A, here, 105 3A 105. Awards. Coach Dave Cunningham of Cedar Falls. Sixth place, Joe Scarborough, Waterloo, Columbus. Fifth place, Gary Steffensmeyer, Fort Madison. Fourth place, Brad Brewell, Fort Dodge. Third place, Eric Chia, Clinton. Second place, Jan Kaler, Waverly Shell Rock. And the Class 3A 105-pound champion from Cedar Falls, Dave Jordan. Number one, 
Florida State in 3A. The 105 pounds, Dave Jordan. How about that? Here's Dean Ball.